Hello, I'm Gabby Dunn. Welcome to the vlog. I've been seeing a lot of people doing lesbian YouTuber crush videos and I decided I wanted to make one even though I almost never vlog. Yeah, it's a tag. Congratulations to CV Bobby and Elena Fender for turning this into a tag. <laughs> You've created a tag. You're the two moms of a tag. Um, this is gonna be uh, queer YouTubers and uh, cause there are some, I'll probably list them that are not queer that I do have crushes on, uh, but let's do like LGBT YouTuber crushes. So I wrote them down. Number one uh, LGBT YouTuber crush is Brie Esrig. Uh, I think this is coming as, as a surprise to no one. I have a poster of Brie in my house. Uh, it's her merch, I didn't have it made. She's so funny, she's so pretty, she's so cute. She um, is just also like a really good person. Uh, she's very authentic, which I enjoy, and she kind of always has this really like genuine energy about her that I love. And I would only say that I hope she does more stuff on her own channel um, because she's great. And she's uh, super hot. <clears throat> Just like oppressively hot. Number two on my list is Cat Black. If you don't know who Cat Black is, uh, she's a social justice YouTuber and uh, does a lot of like cool stuff with her hair and some makeup stuff But generally she makes videos that are about social justice issues and um, She's so smart and she's so driven and she's so like passionate and knowledgeable about the stuff that she talks about and she puts it in really awesome terms and ways that are easy for the YouTube audience to understand um, it's very accessible and um, I love Kat. I, I think, I mean, just speaking objectifyingly, Kat has beautiful features, uh, beautiful hair, just like rocks any style. Anytime I see her in person, I'm always so blown away by how pretty she is. Um, but also great content. This is going to be everyone's pick, so I don't even want to waste so much time on it. Uh, <laughs> because it's almost a cliche at this point. Uh, but I will say that I literally never stop looking at Dodie Clark's stuff and just think that she's like a little twee goddess that sprung from the head of like Zoe Deschanel and uh, like a 1930s musical. I don't know how she's real and I refuse to believe she is. I met this pick through Alexis Gizal and uh, since then I've been very into her work and also just think she's cute as a button and that's Amy Ordman, um, who's Australian, which is just also unfair. I love looking at her pictures. Uh, I love her videos where she's <laughs> in a tiny car. I think those are hilarious. I'm so jealous. I wish I thought of that idea. And um, I just think that she's like a weird light. Uh, like her channel's just like a, a bright spot. This one is also a cliche, uh, but I'll allow it because it's a good cliche. Ari Fitz, who is amazing. Uh, you guys know who she is probably. Um, she's beautiful and just so striking and in person is also so kind and like adorable and just makes you feel so at ease when you talk to her. It's like so easy to talk to. We met at the women's conference, the YouTube women's conference, and then we went out for drinks um, at the Ace Hotel and it was just like the easiest conversation uh, so funny. I had a booger and she <laughs> gently allowed me to uh, do what I needed to do to get rid of that booger. A woman came over and started talking to us about our astrological signs and it turns out that we're very compatible. Uh, and then she was texting me under the table about how funny that was. She's just a delight. Uh, it was like a great date. And Ari is so committed to making videos every day and it's just um, incredible her work ethic. I wanted to also add Add Marina Watambi, who is Marina Shut Up, and um, uh, she gets so much shit for her work, and she it's so important the social justice work that she does, and her videos are so important, and she gets gets so much shit for them. Like I can't believe how much work she puts into these, and how much emotional labor that she puts into these videos. Um, I also want to talk about Ash and Grace. They're a married couple. Uh, both of them are adorable. I was totally taken aback meeting them in person at VidCon. <laughs> this is actually a little embarrassing. I was like, oh, you're both so good looking. They're so cute. And I, they're like both actually like super my type in some ways. So I was like, you know, just 
blown away that two people who are so my type were married to each other. <laughs> and then of course I want to read the people uh, that I have on my list. Um, some of these people are not queer, but here it is. Whose stuff I enjoy and who uh, are cute. Hello Steph, obviously one of my very good friends and sort of girl, sort of a girl. She's a girl. Elena Fender, Melanie Murphy, Rosie from Rose and Rosie. Sorry, Rose. Allison likes Rose. Allie Hills, I think, is beautiful. Stevie Bobby, Ava Gordy. And then these two people are straight, I think, but I really love Cheska Lee and I really love Mamrie Hart. I actually don't know what their sexualities are. If someone could let me know, that would be really great. Okay, I think that's enough creeping for today. <laughs> it's never enough creeping. <laughs>